Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday morning. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. It's my last day here in the Bahamas, and boy, do I have a couple stories flying in. I never do this, even when I'm at the home studio, but we have three stories we're going to get to. I know, Dave, you're in the Bahamas. Go enjoy the sun. I have. I'm burnt, okay? I'll be back tomorrow. We'll have live streams before and after the Bachelorette premiere. I've got some new tricks up my sleeve. You're going to want to come hang out. We'll have the voicemail line going, uh, like I said, before the East Coast and before and after the West Coast. Or I'm sorry, before the East Coast and then after the East and West Coast. Okay, so anyway, Becca said yes. She finally got engaged. She said yes. She said yes. She said yes. All right, her boyfriend proposed. Hey, what's the rush? They already have a couple kids together, but um, kind of revealed last week that he actually proposed several years ago. Bachelor alum Becca Martinez is ready to be engaged after rejecting boyfriend's first proposal. Bachelor Nation star recently revealed that boyfriend Grayston, Grayston? Gray? Leonard originally proposed three years ago after the birth of their first child. In a recent TikTok video, you know what? Let's just go to the TikTok video here. We're reading all these articles. So he's already proposed, so he's kind of like ready, ready for it here. And um, now she's finally said yes. Um, for okay, well, Martinez. hold on one second. I'm back. I'm here to I don't have all of my, um, my full studio, as you guys know, so we just try our best with what we have out here. Luckily, my neighbors are Bachelor fans because they can hear me right now at sunrise. Okay, so anyway, clearly the, bah the Bahamian Wi-Fi, not exactly up to par. So let's go to the Instagram account. So there she is. She said yes. Here's the photo. Really nice photo. Becca's 27 years young. You know, she was so young when she was on the show, what seems about 15 years ago, on Ari season. I mean, what a, what a season of drama we had. People like uh, Taylor Nolan, therapist there. And then there she is, flicking off the ring finger with a heart-shaped diamond. Uh, they look great. They look happy. Yes, she said. And then her co-host, the bad mom, said all the tears. Yes. And every other verified contestant. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Great. You need a reality show. Oh, own it, queen. You know, all that stuff. Uh, as you do. You have to do that. By the way, if you share an engagement photo and it doesn't get at least 100 likes, the engagement's off. It's done. If you post a ring photo and, and your besties aren't like, Meh, they don't like the guy. Um, anyway, speaking of engagements, my fiance and I, uh, you know, we're on this vacation to do our, uh, our uh, wedding menu testing, which broke my diet that I was on, hot boy summer, is no longer, okay? Now it's um, all you can eat, uh, buffet Dave. Uh, but I'll be back. Don't you worry, guys. I will be back. And for the people that are saying, eh, it's toxic to talk about diet culture like that, I know, and you know what's toxic? Eating uh, chocolate chip muffins for breakfast with a waffle maker. You ever put, you ever, you ever break up a chocolate chip muffin and sprinkle it in the waffle maker with the batter, and then just wait two minutes before all your teeth fall out? So anyway, here's Becca. Let's see what she's got here. Um, by the it way, this really... is a, th this is a. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Too much audio here. Let's go back here. She was in the news actually the other day um, for. Uh, be, for being named as a professional scammer. And uh, let's just have a watch here. Pretty interesting stuff um, as, uh, again, we walk our way to the internet. So she uh, made a TikTok about how it's expensive being on The Bachelorette. And because of that, a lot of people would get their clothes and then uh, leave, a, um, leave a receipt on them so they could return them. And then an article... And then learn that I am... They grew up all... I don't know why it keeps doing this. Let's try one more time. Hang on there, folks. We're going to get this. Morning and learned that I am now a scammer. The fire alarm in my new office won't stop chirping. And I don't have any furniture or a... having a clear technical issue here, but she was, she was called a, a professional scammer. Now a scammer. There it is. I'm sorry, fraud? Committing fraud? I was like, what is this about? And then I read the article. Oh, no, no. This is return fraud. This is about the TikTok I made when I kept the tags on the clothes from Nordstrom Rack and returned them after filming The Bachelor. This is absolutely sending me. While this may seem like a minor transgression, the reality is she could have been arrested for these actions. What Martinez did could be considered fraud, which is an Slow arrestable offense. Okay, these news outlets are struggling. 
for things to cover these days. This just killed me too, the drama. The dishonest customer's goal is to wear and return the item. It makes this return fraud practice one of the biggest challenges facing the retail and e-commerce industry. Okay, I'm sorry Nordstrom Rack. I didn't know I was gonna put you out of business. I woke up this morning right, and so learned that I- These comments are hilarious. This writer has never been poor. Uh, uh, we need fraud broad merch ASAP. Someone had a deadline for an article in Zero Ideas, LMAO. Well, fellas and ladies out there, Bachelor um, is barrel scraping season is officially over. But I have to say, even, even in the scraping of a barrel, I didn't think to call Becca Martinez a professional uh, scammer. But I think we've all uh, bought an outfit in return. I once bought an out I once bought an outfit from Walmart. That's right. It was um it was a like a hoedown where you had to wear um country clothes. And I bought um I bought uh, overalls for a party and returned them the next day. So if anyone has Walmart overalls, check the pocket for some lip gloss in a number or two. All right. So there she is. She said yes. Not much else to the story. All the comments are people that are super happy. I've got two more videos coming your way on this Sunday, and I've got so much more coming tomorrow, including two different Katie Thurston videos. She went off last night and was railing on a 1X and also a Nick Vile. And you guys know me, when I can make a Katie Thurston Nick Vile video, uh, Vile goes viral is what I like to say. All right, so speaking of viral, I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you want some behind the scenes of what's going down. Oh, you know, you know, this is always worth sharing. Hold on one second, guys. I got one more thing worth sharing with you guys. Someone left me a comment yesterday. I haven't promoted the Patreon yet on this video. You know, the Patreon private membership community, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. But yesterday, I got a comment from somebody. And you know me, uh, I love a good roast. So here's a beautiful drone shot that I took. And then down here, someone said, Gossip Gal said, why does everything always come back to Dave and his stupid Patreon? So annoying. And my response was, because it's a valued revenue stream of mine. I mention it for about seven seconds of video. If you can't appreciate me and what I'm doing to provide for my family, I don't particularly value you in our community. Now, you can be a part of the community, you can be a consumer of my content, but it ain't a two-way conversation now, Gossip Gal, it's not. Because it's free content I give you. You got a couple ads you have to play, and then in return you get a little bit of information and a little bit of entertainment, and maybe once in a while I'll give you a nice little hair tip or two. So then I wrote, imagine watching my free YouTube channel and getting annoyed when I take moments to promote my paid Patreon. Imagine the audacity. And that's right, folks. I mean, imagine imagine being like, I can't believe I'm watching Hulu and there's four different advertisements for pharmaceutical companies, you know? And again, this is pretty rare. I know like 99.9% .9 of you guys are so supportive and I appreciate all of you guys so much, those that are on the Patreon and those that are not. But for the people that are on the Patreon, I give extra content. That's what it means to be behind the paywall. We've got 200 plus people. When we get to 275, which will probably happen in the next couple weeks, we're gonna release um, some, some of my clips. I'm gonna edit together some of my funny moments from the first few seasons of when I was uh, initially starting out as a Bachelor recapper. Pretty funny stuff, actually. But if you want, uh, to go to Patreon, and now I'm making this a nice long promotion at the end of the video so Gossip Gal doesn't uh, lose her mind if I'm wasting her time while she's probably on the toilet watching my you know, gossip videos. But I've got Bahamas with Dave. I did a nice little tour, uh, about an 18 minute video. I actually was a lot of fun. Uh, me and my uh, fiance just ripped on one of these hotels we stayed at just because you know some of the things that were happening were so ridiculous. Um, but uh, hey, that's when you travel. Even, even in the Bahamas, I'll find something irreverent to make fun of. So anyway, go to patreon.com slash Dave Neal if you want to check that out. Either way, Becca said yes. And thank you guys for saying yes to the subscribe button. Hit it, like it, and I'll see you guys. More content coming your way. Bye, everybody.